हेलो पीपल दिस इज़ अ 2018 क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक ऑफ ऑपकोड एक्सपेंशन इट्स अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन बट बिफोर दिस इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच्ड माय थ्योरी लेक्चर ऑन द सेम टॉपिक और अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम 2020 देन आई रिकमेंड यू डूइंग दैट फर्स्ट ओके देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी इजीली एनी वेज लेट सी द स्टेटमेंट अ प्रोसेसर हैज सिक्सटीन एंड टीजर रजिस्टर्स आर नॉट टू आर फिफ्टीन and 64 floating point registers f0 to f63 it uses a 2 byte instruction format there are four categories of instructions type 1 to type 4 type 1 category consists of four instructions each with three integer register operands type 2 category consists of eight instructions each with two floating point register operands Type three category consists of fourteen instructions, each with one integer and one floating point register operand. Type four category consists of n instructions, each with one floating point register operand. The maximum value of n is okay. So these are the four types of instructions that you are given. Where type four has total of n instructions. and we are required to determine maximum value that n can take okay so whenever you are given these types of instructions whenever you are given that processor supports more than one instructions you can do this in two ways first way is you fixed two bits here you are having four instructions in total you fix first two bits to determine the type of instruction and next 14 bits can be used for opcode and uh, specifying the address register okay but a better approach is to not fix any bit for determining the instruction type that means the opcode itself will determine the instruction type only what i'm saying is you first of all let's see how many bits are there for the opcode in each type integer register requires 4 bits because 16 is 2 power 4 okay similarly floating point register requires 6 bits because 64 is 2 power 6 okay now three integer registers in type 1 instruction means something like this okay 4 4 4 bits for specifying three integer registers then two floating point register means this next is type 3 instruction which has a total of 14 opcodes and one integer plus one floating point operand say this is a integer operand and this is floating point operand then 6 plus 4 is 10 you will be remaining with six bits because total is 16 and the last type it has only one floating point operand that means only 6 bits are used to specify a address you will obviously have 10 bits for specifying the opcode okay so this is what you are given now this value is 4 as well as this value is also 4 because this part is 12 you will be remaining with 4 bits here also 6 plus 6 is 12 and the remaining part is 4 bits now in this technique of opcode expansion what you are going to do is you begin with the instruction that has least number of bits in opcode that means type 1 or type 2 okay because both of these instructions have 4 4 bits in opcode part each that means 2 power 4 is equal to 16 first four bits could generate 16 combinations in total but 
only four of these combinations are used for type 1 and only eight of these 16 are used for type 2. That means out of 16, 12 are used and you are left with four opcodes. That means only from these first four bits after specifying type 1 or type 2 instructions still four opcodes are left. That means those four opcodes or those four combinations can be used to specify these instructions. Okay, but the thing is type 1 uses four opcodes out of those 16 that's okay. Type 2 uses eight opcodes out of those 16 that's okay. But type 3 needs 14 opcodes. We are left with only four opcodes. So we cannot specify type 3 with only those four opcodes. Whenever you see the first four bits are not of this type as well as not of this type. That means you need to fetch more bits from the instruction. Okay, first four bits we have already seen. You now fetch these two bits also. Okay, now four opcodes are reserved for these two types. That means four and two bits you have fetched more. Two power two is also four. So this one is four into four. Total 16 combinations are again generated. That means now you have 16 types of opcodes. Okay, the first four bits generated 16 opcodes. Out of those 16, four are free when we reach here. When we reach to type three, four are only free because 12 are used here. Now those four opcodes can be combined with all the combinations generated by these two bits. You get four into four, that's 16 combinations. We can still specify 16 more type of instructions or 16 combinations. Out of those 16, 14 are used to specify type three instructions only. That means now on this stage, you have used 14 out of 16. How many opcodes are still free? Two. That means here to specify type 4 instructions, the first six bits, these many bits, they generate only two combinations that are free for type 4. Okay. All the combinations are used here except for these two combinations. How, how are these six bits? Like how did I find out there are six bits? Because four bits we fetched on the stage one. Then these two more bits were fetched when CPU determined that none of type one or type two opcode is represented by these four bits. Now you have six bits. Then again CPU determined that now even this type three is not specified by those six bits. That means any one of this combination is present in these six bits. Next thing is because it's not type one, nor type two, nor type three, then you know that you need to fetch, sorry, you need to fetch these bytes also, these bits also. And these are four because six minus 10 is four. You fetch four more bits that will generate two upcodes, two combinations, these into four, that means two power four. You have 32 more combinations. That means value of n is 32. Now you could uh, address or you could support 32 different instructions. Each of them will represent a type four instruction. Okay, let's go into a bit more detail. It's just going to take a minute. So what's happening is the processor fetches first four bits. An instruction is given to a processor. It's obviously 16 bits. Processor is going to take the first four bits. And if those bits represent a combination out of these, any combination out of these four, that means it's a type one instruction. Okay. So these four combinations are reserved for type one. That means by only looking at the first four bits, you could determine 
वन ऑफ द फोर टाइप वन इंस्ट्रक्शन यूनिकली नेक्स्ट दीज आर फोर इन नंबर नेक्स्ट एट कॉम्बिनेशन आर दीज एट कॉम्बिनेशन दे आर यूज फॉर टाइप टू ओके दैट मीन्स इफ प्रोसेसर सीज एनी ऑफ दीज कॉम्बिनेशन इट कैन इजिली डिटरमाइन दैट इट्स अ टाइप टू इंस्ट्रक्शन बट इफ नाउ दीज आर ट्वेल्व यू आर रिमेनिंग विद फोर कॉम्बिनेशन बट इफ एनी वन ऑफ द फोर कॉम्बिनेशन कम्स दैट मीन्स इट्स नॉट टाइप वन नॉर इट्स टाइप टू इट कुड बी आई दर टाइप थ्री और टाइप फोर बट यू कैन नॉट डिटरमाइन इफ इट्स टाइप थ्री और टाइप फोर बाय जस्ट लुकिंग एट दीज फोर बिट्स यू नीड मोर बिट्स नाउ हेयर इन टाइप वन द नेक्स्ट बिट्स रिप्रेजेंट द रजिस्टर्स ओके बट हेयर इन टाइप थ्री यू सी फोर बिट्स दैट मीन्स अपटेल हेयर इट्स ओनली अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑपकोड द ऑपकोड कॉन्टिन्यूज टेल हेयर ओके दैट मीन्स दीज टू बिट्स आर ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑपकोड सो यू विल फैच टू मोर बिट्स दोज टू बिट्स कैन जनरेट हाउ मेनी कॉम्बिनेशन फोर जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो वन वन दैट मीन्स फोर इंटू टू टोटल एट सॉरी फोर इंटू फोर दीज आर फोर ओके हाउ आर दे फोर दिस दिस मच इज ट्वेल्व वी आर लेफ्ट विद फोर ओके आई हैव नोटेड डाउन एट हेयर ऑल्सो सो फोर इंटू फोर विद एनी ऑफ दीज फोर कॉम्बिनेशन वील हैव दीज फोर एंडिंग्स सो टोटल आर सिक्सटीन आउट ऑफ दोज सिक्सटीन वी आर यूजिंग ओनली फोर्टीन कॉम्बिनेशन टू रिप्रेजेंट टाइप थ्री इंस्ट्रक्शन बिकॉज ना आउट ऑफ सिक्सटीन फोर्टीन आर यूज two combinations will still be free if any of those two combination comes that means it is going to be a type 4 instruction and type 4 instruction has 10 bits in its op code part these 10 bits we have fetched 6 bits already that means you need to fetch these 4 bits this part i am not sure if it's visible it probably is just increase the quality go to 1080p anyways these four bits will be fetched again now four bits could lead to 16 combinations into these two okay the starting can be any one of these two plus sorry multiplied by four endings multiplied by 16 endings so you get 32 okay your answer here is 32 value of n comes out to be 32 thank you very much